what the last two days. It is what it is. All right. But yesterday and today end up being guitar day. Yesterday I grabbed the axe. Actually, I traded for an axe, and today I bought an axe. Two bases. Now, of course, y'all knew last week I grabbed this from Brooklyn. So it looks as though we stayed up in New York because the other two I'm going to show you also came from New York, but from my man, again, New Jersey, bass and guitar, and that is located in... I keep forgetting. I want to say Berlin, but it's not Berlin. It's a uh, 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 man. Anyway, look it up. <laughs> oh man, how forget it's got a receipt. The receipt should be sitting around here somewhere. Anyway, thanks to my man Jay, gave me a good deal both ways around. And uh, I talked about that earlier today when I was at the shop. All right. So, um, pretty much what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just pray through them real quick. Nothing heavy. And then maybe another day back in the studio, I'll line them bad boys up into the system and we're here and playing in the studio in the back. You know what I mean? Because again, I've been neglecting the studio for these bases far too long. Can never neglect the studio, baby. That's where the money is bred and all that stuff is made, all right? And what we're going to do is before you end the night and thank heaven for the opportunity to have a great day and get back from New York safely. And um, yeah, 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 I said that, yeah. And was in New York and decided, um, yeah, anyway, had a great time yesterday, had a great time today. And today I'm wearing Sohar from the Portraits Collection, Penn Holligans. Remember, no matter how many bases you have, if you don't have any music out, you ain't smelling good, just wasting time. Real recognizes real. Let's make it pop. And don't forget to buy some of the, some of the dog albums I have out. You know what I mean? And let's get to it. Here we have... Now, this, this bag, I still got to get this neck cleaned a little bit more. Neck is a little dusty. But um, I had the pick guard and everything off because I wanted to buy another pick guard. The black pick guard is good. It probably would be better if I didn't have the white lines around that was just all like silhouetted black but i want to get like a, a, a like a brown tobacco type pick guard for this to offset the black because because i don't see the wood in this i gotta have something on the guitar to kind of look like it has some wood on it and that would be a pick guard but it's so expensive So, uh, yeah, this is the Music Man Maple Net Special, Stingray Special 5. How does your boy? Bam, bam, of course, you know where it's made. And, uh, you know, I just like. Let's see, I knew that was going to happen. And I can't find another phone to decline. Somebody's calling while I'm busy trying to do a video. And what I have a problem, I think the nut on here, just realized the nut on this bad boy might be a little bit chipped. So I ordered um, another nut for Music Man, for my man Joel. So I got two nut nuts and watch, yo stop, just stop it. Why do people do that, man? Sometimes I need to put an airport mode, but if I put on airport mode, mode, then I think something might happen with the video. So, so anyway, um, I actually I used to have this. Uh, I usually have it in bass, no mid, treble mode. Everybody rocks this like that, right? So let's keep it right there because that's where we rock at.
Space up. Space up. I'm going by order of purchase. So I mean, this one was the one we got from New Jersey, bass and guitar yesterday from Jay's spot. This is a Fender Deluxe Jazz bass with the upgraded top. This is the upgraded one piece wood. Not two, three pieces, one solid piece of yeah, 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 ash coated with the coated. Well, the neck isn't coated, or it's a maple neck, but it's not, it's not coated. And I don't know how people be talking about, yo, the, the, the back of the neck is satin finish. I guess it's a satin finish. I don't care what the back of the neck is. I'm not discriminative. I've been playing bass for a long time. Man, just give me the bass so I can play the thing. I ain't gonna tell me messing around. Oh, this guy is shiny on the back. It's not satin. It's a D shape, V shape, non shape. And I don't care about none of that, dog. I don't really care. I get the bass. I play the bass. Oh, but you ain't that. They did good, Raj. Yeah, but uh, got a lot of albums out. I'm a Grammy member. But I'm gonna say it. Aside from that, play everything. I'm just play bass. Bass is like, I'm the guy who started out playing guitar, and then when I got in bands, I always wanted to play the bass. This thing is powerful. 18 volts of Hollage, your boy, bars. And this is an all day preamp in here. So I, I haven't figured out how to really use it yet. It's the back. Front in the middle. Trouble, I mean, should be mid range. Pick your frequency. Pick your frequency. So, pick the frequency and turn it up or turn it down. It almost sounds like it's bass, too, man, but anyway. Because the bass and treble is right here. Bass on the bottom, treble, concentric stacks. We have three concentric stacks or their preamp. And when you put the, when you put the, put the plug in, the light comes on. When it breaks, one time that means the battery is hot. All right? And this is your passive, probably a passive treble control, but ain't no passive on here. This is active. There's no push, pull, pack to switch. So that's the, that's, 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 that's the treble. Because if I turn it down, there's no trouble. But think about if I turn the trouble down on the concentric, ain't none either. So it's like double. Now if I turn up, now both of them are down. Right? So it's really like, right? Now as soon as I put the concentric stack in the middle here with all their preamp, now, I get a little bit of high end. Now we got the treble. Now it's out again with the passive treble control. Kind of weird. This thing is smoking, dog. I got the bass all the way up. Turn the bass down a little bit. Because it's kind of like doing the same thing I did with the uh, Music Man. Bass and treble all the way up. And then we'll turn down the mid. And we're going to put a little bit mid in there just for the snap. That's extra super mid. That's regular mid. Hold on, sorry. Put it in the middle. And here's a little bit more snap. Fire, dog. This is not the Music Man killer because it's a little bit different set than Music Man, especially with the audio preamp put in here. But this joint's popping. And last but not least, what I grabbed today, I went back. I'm like, look, 
let me get something affordable. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because actually I could have bought the precision base I was going to buy from a man. But I'm like, nah, man, I need to save some money, man. I got all these bases around here. It's good to have nice bases, especially when you run into a nice deal. Always good to get a good base. And my man had a really good deal on the Fender Precision with the J pickup setup. And I realized I paid a whole bunch of J pickup setups. And I wasn't impressed. I played a J pickup setup. In fact, I'm glad I didn't buy that dude base for $1,500 now. He had a Spectre Euro 4LX. So I played, even though I think his was upgraded to EMG or something like that. So I played J's uh, one a day. If y'all look at the video, y'all would have seen that. And I'm like, I was not impressed. All this time I'm thinking, I want a PJ. I want a PJ, a PJ. Man, please. Only a PJ now. <laughs> And now we got this joint right here, man. I got took a board home, shined it up. Look at it. And you can't even find this bad boy. It's the BB5GS. The BBGS5. Now, the only thing about this bad boy is weak in power. Ain't a lot of power in this. I think it's a novel battery. This is active. Like, all the ones I seen was not active. This is made in Taiwan as well. They weren't active. <laughs> Active. Now I want to make sure there's no push pulls. It shouldn't have been because I didn't want to push pulls when I bought it, right? It still got that. It still got with the with the with the, with the freaking rosewood neck. It still got that. And I, you know the thing about it is I used to did not like maple necks, man. Now I like maple necks. Because it depends on what wood is on, right? So the contrast with the maple neck on, let's say, the, the, the Rickenbacker, you know what I mean? The contrast is beautiful because you got the walnut and then the maple neck, beautiful with the shark fins on, on, on what's called. But then you got the music, which y'all just saw, the Fender Jazz, all ash, bam. And then you got the, the juxtaposition with the all black music man, but you got the maple neck with a five. So now I got... Two maple neck fours, one maple neck five, but then I got rosewood neck here, five, and I got the Spectre Reebok Deluxe five. That's five string buzz rosewood neck. So like I say, ain't a lot of power in this. It's not. But the front pickup's deep. Like, them bad boys are pumping. The preamps don't pump that much. So a lot of guys are talking about chaining up the preamp, but I think it's hard to change out preamps when it's not a big cavity. Look how small that cavity is, but look how big the setup is. So it really don't equal the cavity size. I don't think you put one in here. Just turn the amp up. Just turn the amp up. That's all you got to do, turn the amp up. So here we have... Get that back. Front, both. High, high front. Oh, I like that. High back. Oh, crazy. Both. All right. Bass in. Bass. All right, let's turn the trouble down. Bass front. Bass back. Bass front. Cool. So now we don't have a mid range on here, so just turn these both these bad boys up and get a blend with the front and the back how you want to work with. Bases, there's no redundancy. Like in my fragrance collection, nothing in my fragrance collection smells the same because I do not deal with redundancy. I might have a tobacco vanilla fragrance in there, but I might have two other ones, but they're not smelling the same. They might have the same notes, but they don't smell the same. Same thing with these bases. You might have different EQs, like those two got mid, trouble and bass. This just has trouble and bass, but they're different. 
they both had different purposes. That's why we had three, four, five different bases. And what I paid for this, this bad boy right here, I'm trying to get some more information on it. Look at the wood. I like the wood. This is the only one I got like a cherry birch wood. It could, this kind of looks like my PRS guitar. It kind of like my PRS joint. Let me see. Nah, nah, since we really talk about basses, y'all not really, really talk about my guitars that much. They're gorgeous too. I got another guitar I supposed to pick up today, but I got distracted. So I didn't get a chance to pick it up. But, uh, well, you know, it's more, I was about to say, I don't think PRS is not PRS. But it's kind of, here's my PRS guitar, right? This is my S2. Look at the wood. Look at that wood in that bad boy. Mahogany on the back. Ooh, mahogany on the front with the gloss. Look at that. I was about to sell this. I'm not selling. I'm going to keep this bad boy. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So don't quite go with the, with the Yamaha. You know what I mean? Maybe the Godan goes with the Yamaha, but not the PRS. And again, like I said, I'm picking up, I'm picking up an interesting guitar tomorrow. I thought they're picking up today, like I said, but I'm not going to get it today because they're close. Now here's my other drawing. Another mahogany in the back. This is my Godan. Mahogany in the back. This is my Session Custom. Now this almost looks like, now yeah, them two almost like they can be cousins. See them? See them? See them? Now they almost look alike. See them? Look at them. Yeah, they almost look alike. Okay. You lay back down so I get back to you. So those are my three bases. And look at the gold. The gold hardware is really looking nice. I had some gold knobs that I left on a guitar. I traded back in. And I took the gold knobs off my Warwick and put them on there. And, psh, man, dad, going it. Left them on the dog on guitar. Left them on my guitar. Crazy. But nevertheless, is what it is. And this bad boy right here goes with the Fender. This is my g &L. Yeah. And see, I want this pick guard for her, too. So I'm changing that black pick guard out. That's got to go. And I'm getting a, um, either a darker, a darker pick guard, probably a brown, more browner than this one right here. Put that on there. Because I don't like black pick guards. And I don't like that black pick guard on my music man, either. I really want that to be out. Power. So that's it, y'all. That's it for the night. Talk about the guitars. And uh, I'm just thankful that I got back safe from New York, safe travels, made it back safely. And uh, now I just want to see. And this thing, my man, somebody had talked about getting I went to talk bass, and we was talking about this bass. It was like, yo, man, it might not be the greatest bass in the world, but. Oh, God, I really like playing this bass. And the good thing about when you buy a bass from New Jersey Guitar and Bass, everything is cool. Except he did have one bass there that wasn't tri quite plecked. Had a little scratchy, scratchy, but it wasn't that bad. You know what I mean? But this right here is an older bass. Frets are fine. Fretware is pretty good. I mean, like I said, I don't really care about fretware. I'm not going to play much of a bass anyway. That's the front pickup. I people be trying to learn Jocko, so when they do a video, you're like, oh, uh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a Jocko riff on the back pickup. You gonna put that on the back pickup, and we're gonna play a Jocko riff. <laughs> No, we playing a Raj with. I don't be copping off nobody, man. That's one thing about me, dogs. Y'all know I don't cop nobody, dog, from fragrances or whatever. Ain't no copycat. That's why I'm hanging around with the Frag Luminati. I don't mess around with the Smell Luminati. I don't mess around with the Bass Luminati or the Guitar Luminati. I mess with the Raj Luminati. Buy some of that music. Roger, real deep, cool. Google me. Check me out on YouTube and Google. And make sure you know when you buy my music, you're buying... I played all the instruments. I 
because it's easy to play. Ain't a lot. This is like setting neck on the back, man. This thing, I can just sit around this all day. <laughs> This makes you want to play it. The least expensive bass I have in my collection right here is kind of like the one I like to play the most. And man, maybe the battery ain't as new as it probably could be. Maybe if I put a stronger battery here, maybe we'll get a little bit more oomphity poomphity. Let me see if I got some batteries up in here that might be have a little bit more oomphity poomphity. Then you gotta put your tongue on it. You gotta put your tongue on it, man. Oh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's change out the battery. Maybe it could be better. Now, he has a lot of bases in there, and he tried to maintain to the point that every base in there, first of all, is set up. He does all his setups. So if you ever go to the New Jersey Guitar and Bass website and check out my man, Jay, he does all the setups. He does everything for his bases. So I was like, well, Jay, you know, the price for this is a little, you know, a little higher than the others. He's like, well, the other ones haven't been set up. And he's right. Yeah, this don't have as much juice as that battery. Uh oh, we might be getting some more juice. This don't have as much juice as that battery. So let's see what we get now. Plug it back in. What happened? I'm not getting anything, y'all. Man, that battery is hot. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on a hot second now. Now just hold on a hot minute and a second. I know that battery's hot. Is there a reset I gotta do or something? Now I'm not getting anything. Hold on a second. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright, take the door cell out. Okay, I got it in there right. I think I got it in there right. Right? Oh, I had it wrong. Oops. Check it out. I had it wrong. Let's see. I had it in the wrong way. <laughs> dummy. This is a big old dummy. Mont, you're a big dummy. So I think it might be louder. One like, man, I'm sitting here, dog, and I just be, I have people here and nobody just don't do likes, man. People just don't like to like me, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this thing sounds good, man. For 400 bucks, man, look at that. This thing sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, DJ, man, I appreciate you, man. I mean, I don't understand why people here check me out. Like, it's been like two people here, three people here, whatever. And nobody even did any likes until you got here. Now I got two likes for five people. I don't know, man. Maybe because you're there for fragrances. Okay, if you're here for fragrances, Pin Holligan's portrait collection, so hard. Bam, now let's talk about bases. If you're here for studio, well, I'm not going back to the studio, so I'm not doing that. What time? It's about time for me to get my behind the bed, too. I'm not gonna go to bed, y'all. I gotta be up early. Heaven willing, y'all gotta get some good sleep. You can talk that Lakeland stuff all you want. You can talk Lakeland all you want, cause it looks like a Lakeland actually. You can talk Lakeland all you want. I got that. This thing's still banging. It's not even. It's not even body through. 
It's still sustained. Look, I got the sustain. It's up here in my hand. It's still sustained on the B string. Do you hear me? Do you hear? It's still sustained. Listen. <laughs> How long you need that sustain? Made in Taiwan. Let's go. I had to stop it. We'd have been here all day, man. This thing will still be sustained until tomorrow morning. Stop it. Now again, it's not loud, I must say. Just turn up the amp and do your thing. Now, just because I have a battery in it doesn't mean it's passive or active. I mean, there's no passive active switch on there, but there's no passive and active switch on my Spectre either. So, you know, and there's no passive and active switch on the, on the jazz bass. But, I mean, if it's a battery now, I guess it's active. These are Jam the Yamaha. They Yamaha pickups. You know what I said? I said Yamaha. I said Yamaha. Yamaha pickups. I mess with John Long, right? Uh, so, anyway, yeah, man. Um, nice bass. Can't beat for the price. If it had been body through with the sustain it has on here already, it'll just be incredible. on either pickup. Either one, I don't like them together. I ain't gonna say I don't like it together, but it's more interesting when you play with just either the front pickup, hit a comp, 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 with the back pickup. Put them together, you got a cock and amp. out of here. How at your boy. Roger will be cool with the Taiwanese B B B5 GS. That stands for sustainable. <laughs> this thing is banging up. And I'm just playing out of my QSC 10.2. It's set up the base mode, whatever it's set up for. Ain't nothing really happening with it, man. I usually plug my watch call in there. I plug my, um, Oh, man, I used to put my join in there, my join. I used to put my one-man show mixer into that, that channel, so it really ain't set up. But I'm waiting to get my dog on MXR uh, bass mic pre-fix. All right, 30 minutes is enough. I'll talk to you later. Have a great night.